Joshua Relaford was giving an employee a ride to work when a car pulled out in front of him. I immediately like grabbed my face, and then I can remember like asking my um, employee, "Was she okay? Was she okay?" But all he heard was his employee scream, not because she was hurt, he was. When I let go of my hand, that's when the blood flow flowed out, and I think that's what scared her the most. Relaford had been hit with metal fragments from his airbag, a Takata airbag. The now well-known problem is with the airbag's inflator, a metal cartridge loaded with propellant wafer that, when deployed, can ignite with explosive force and throw shrapnel at anyone inside the car. In Joshua's case, into his right eye. It was severely damaged. He was crushed, you know, and he was unable to save it. It took multiple surgeries to remove his eye and rebuild the socket using a bone from his rib before he could be fitted with a prosthetic eye. His accident was four years ago, and those same Takata airbags are still in millions of cars today. In fact, the number included in a national recall tripled this year to more than 41 million cars, meaning one in six cars on U.S. roads have Takata airbags. Yet many drivers are unaware of the danger. It goes across all manufacturers. I think there were 19 different manufacturers that put the Takata airbag in their vehicle. Primarily from 2002 to 2015, before the airbags were pulled off the market. So far nationwide, 16 people have died and 200 have been hurt. Consumer advocates say many of these deaths never needed to happen. Federal regulators received warnings about the airbags as early as the mid-2000s, but took no action until almost a decade later. This is an agency that has a long history uh, of, of being asleep at the wheel. Sean Kane, the president of Safety Research and Strategies, says the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is chronically underfunded, understaffed, and outgunned when it comes to protecting the public. They should be looking at getting back to their public health roots and understanding how to prevent problems rather than waiting for the body counts. Joshua had no idea his 2001 Honda Civic even had a Takata airbag until six months after his accident, when he finally got a recall notice in the mail. His attorney, Kent Emerson, said even when people finally do get notified, they can wait months to get the airbag replaced because the few factories that make airbags have a massive backlog of orders. When the manufacturers would send a letter out and said your vehicle is part of the recall and, you know, it, it, you know, you could be seriously injured, they would tell people not to drive the vehicle. So you would have a choice. Drive a dangerous vehicle or let it set. Um, and that's a choice that a consumer should not be placed in. One that can severely alter the course of your life. Joshua said he sank into a deep depression. It was a very dark phase for me. For a time, it would have better felt better if you know that my life was have came to an end but with multiple surgeries therapy and the help of emerson who sued to cut on his behalf and reached a confidential settlement he's hopeful about the future he's working again and has a girlfriend though his scars are a constant reminder of the accident that robbed him of an eye but could have cost him his life i'm still not totally comfortable because you know i'm always you know conscious of how do I look or how you look fine oh well thank you <laughs> so how do you know whether your car has a Takata airbag the only way to know is if it's listed on a recall to check that go to the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration's website at nhtsa.gov and enter your car's VIN or its year make and model Fox 4 problem solver Linda Wager looking for you